or in the Boston Garden, you need stars. Well, they're the board of that with Brzingis. Okay, he might be a star skip, but he stays hurt. So you might see him 25, 30 games a year. Mm -hmm. You might see him 50. But the likelihood of you seeing him all 42 home games yep. is not very good. The Atlanta Hawks, I can understand them, Skip. Phillips Arena is empty a lot of nights. And it hadn't been full basically since they got rid of Dominique. Their fortunes with the home crowd has been a little meek. Now, I'm not saying Trey Young's going to be Steph Curry. But, hell, can he be Clay? Can he give you no? Can he give you twenty? No. Skip. He can't give you twenty and seven. No. He need to rain some can't three. Give you twenty. That's what. Cause think about it, Skip. Oracle goes a while, not cause Steph Duncan, not because Clay Thompson is three sixty, because of what? The three point shot. Mm -hmm. The game now has evolved beyond the arc. Mm -hmm. So instead of being play, instead of it being played above the rim, yep. now it used to be Skip. Everybody, all they want to do is dunk. They windmill dunking. They back double pumping like Dominique and Jordan. Now what little four and five year old kids do? They jacking up threes. So that, that's where the game's going. So the Atlanta Hawks said we need somebody. Big man don't really sell like the, the little the little guy, the the mm -hmm. the, the, the Durant's and the jo and, and the LeBrons. They do it in the Russ. They sell a little better than the Anthony Davises and and the, the Boogie Cousins and the Joel and I agree. So, but the dunk skip. I don't. I, I get it. They had Dirk, and they've had Dirk 20-plus years, and he's been unbelievable. You, you can make a case that there was a time that Dirk was a top-five player for a three- or four-year period. Mm. Do you see that in Dunk? Dunk? Dunk. Yep. I, 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 I do I don't, not. I don't either, Skip. I, I do don't not. either. So, I'm going to remind you, and you know Atlanta better than I do, yes. but I used to attend and sometimes cover Dominique games in Atlanta <laughs> that were two-thirds full. Yeah. Seriously. I'm not even sure that town was turning out for Dominique and my friend Spud Webb, and they were fun to watch. The human highlight. That, that was the only reason they were going was to see him dunk. I'm going to say it one more time about Trey Young, and I don't hate Trey. I'm a University of Oklahoma fan, and I watched him probably 25 out of his 32 games last year. But the Atlanta Hawks are terribly overrating Trey Young because I'm going to remind you, they were prepared to take Trey Young with the third pick. Right. They had one silver lining to this, one saving grace. They got a future pick. It's a protected 2019 pick to yeah. go back two slots. Right. But they were sitting there waiting, poised to take Trey Young third overall. Wow. That is wrong, wrong, wrong. I'll say it one more time. Trey Young has one great strength. He is a rare, creative passer. If you want wow factor, if you want did you see that factor, this is your kid. But he also led the nation in turnovers last year because he is he will try just about risk. anything. He's high he risk. will shoot just about anything yeah. because it's it's mostly a feet on the floor set shot that he will launch when he was at OU from the Texas border. Yeah. Seriously. Yes. He he will shoot it from almost half court. You you can't get away with that in the National Basketball Association. Otherwise, he's six feet one inches tall and he is slightly built. He is not an explosive athlete. He's not a leaper. He's not a great finisher. He struggled in the Big 12 to finish. He has no Allen Iverson in him finishing above the trees. No. And when you can't make people respect your three-point shot by going around them and getting to the basket, what happened in the Big 12? As the games wore on, he wore out. Right. And they lost nine of their last 11 because Big 12 defenders just said, just get up in him. Outside. Right. Don't let him shoot the 35-foot set right. shot. Mm -hmm. Make him flinch on the set shot. Okay. Is that going to translate? And I haven't even brought up the defense because he didn't even try to defend anybody in college, and I'm sure he will try in pro basketball. I just don't know if he's physical enough to defend point guards. And you talked yesterday. Yeah. They will eat you alive night after night after night. But, but, but the thing, let me ask you this, okay? He's got to be able to score as much as John Stockton. I, I would, it's hard for me to believe that he's not a, he as, as good, I'm if not he, better athlete than John Stockton. He will shoot more than John Stockton. Oh, yeah. Shot. Yes. Yeah. But, but can he be Rubio, Skip? Rubio had no jump I shot. I told you yesterday, he can be the best little man passer since John Stockton, who was really, he had balloon on the break. But, but no, people ain't coming. The last person that people came to see pass the basketball was Pete Maryland. Mm -hmm. So yeah. those, those days are over, Skip. Mm -hmm. You got to be able to put the ball in the basket, yep. or you got to be able to, you got to be able to do something. Okay, I got you. Now let's go to Doncic. <sighs> They're talking in Dallas about the next Dirk. <sighs> Here's the problem. You want to talk about... Uh, coming up smaller than Dirk, literally smaller. Doncic is, is six feet seven inches tall. Dirk Nowitzki is seven feet 
tall. Yeah. So we're talking about five big inches yeah. taller. And what could Dirk do that nobody could stop? He perfected that shot, that high release yeah. jump shot. Yeah, that step back one. Sometimes off one foot, yeah. a step back. No, the best athlete in the NBA cannot defend that because he's seven feet tall and he worked on it so hard he perfected that. And it can be mid-range or it can be from yeah. three, right? Yep. Okay, Doncic at 6'7", will get exposed for all of the inadequacies that Dirk, Dirk's not a great athlete. No. Dirk doesn't have explosive no. quickness, right? No. Dirk isn't physical. No. Well, that's what's going to happen to Doncic because he's not going to have the right. one thing nobody can bother or stop, right? Got, and guess what? Kobe started shooting that shot. He Durant did. shoot uh -huh. that shot. They LeBron did. shoot mm -hmm. that shot. Yeah. And that's the thing. I mean, they talk about him, and I, I hadn't studied the guy's skill, but I watched the highlights. The dude had 14, 3, and 5, and they're talking about him like he had a, a Russell Westbrook 40-point triple-double. I don't know I'm why like, in the Euro Leagues the, the, the numbers are always smaller yeah. across the board. And he's like, well, he plays great in the pick and roll. Okay, well, who do they got in Dallas that can pick and roll with him? Mm. I mean. Dennis Smith, I guess. I don't know. And that's the thing, though. It, it, you, he's European, though. He's going to be the dirt. Skip, that's an anomaly. Mm -hmm. You can make – anybody can make the case that Dirk is the best foreign-born player mm -hmm. ever. Mm -hmm. You can make that argument for him. The dude got 30,000 points. He won an MVP. He won the finals MVP. And for a stretch there, he was a top-five player. Mm -hmm. I don't – so what? Top-five, that means he's got to be Anthony Davis is 24. You call Anthony Towns is like 22. Mm -hmm. You look at all these guys – I don't see that. I don't see him being a top five player. No, I don't either. I think Ginobili is, but again, I can't argue with you. You think Ginobili is a better with a better player than uh, Dirk? Yeah. Oh no, mm. no, 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 shot maker. No, 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 leader. No, 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 no. Ring winner. You, you, skip. Yeah. He just Dirk won one ring at the expense of LeBron James, and he won it because LeBron melted down, not because. How Dirk many? Dirk. How many would Ginobili have won if there was no Tim Duncan? Well, I, obviously, but listen. Ginobili was a force on those teams. Yeah, he was, he was yeah. a good player. Yeah. He never won no finals MVP. No. They went to Timmy and, 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 and Kawhi. Yeah, you go in that locker room and ask who's the hey, MVP. Tony. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Kawhi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I'm going to say this one more time. I told you this yesterday. I was out front on this. I told you Dante DiVincenzo yes. will be the steal of the draft. Yeah. And a lot of people are saying he'll be a second-round pick. And the Bucks had the guts and the vision to say, at 17, we are taking him. And now they have two freakish athletes. Yeah. They obviously have the Greek freak, right. and they got a freakish leaper in Dante. They got a big game clutch shooter and clutch defender who will make plays defensively as well as offensively. He's got an NBA body at 6'5". He can shoot threes at a 40% clip, and that's that's a steal. That yeah. was the steal of the first round. Yeah, I mean, Middleton can shoot the ball. They, 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 they got some... Uh, but they, they, I don't know what, when you look at the Bucks, they're missing something, Skip. They're missing something. Well, I mean, he's he's going to help add a little something to this. They need somebody yeah. with some bricks in their pocket, yeah. Skip. They got a bunch of tall, skinny, with nobody with bricks. They can't nobody. Come on, look at Greek Freak. Mm -hmm. Middleton, all those guys are skinny, handsome. Hmm. Skip, you got to get somebody that can back it down. They got Jason Terry, man. Man, Jet. Mm -hmm. He's they, gonna be Jet, back. Jet going to come off and going mm -hmm. he to he give you 10 minutes, mm -hmm. get you a couple of points, go hustle. Mm -hmm. But... He ain't backing nobody down. Yeah. That's not his. He'll teach Dante the ropes. That he'll, he'll teach him how to play NBA basketball. Well, you, they better worry about They better hope LeBron moves out of town. Yeah. They better hope LeBron, you know, relocates out of the East. Hmm. Because as long as he's in the Eastern time zone, it ain't looking good. If LeBron stays in Cleveland. He better be looking sideways at them bucks coming. Uh oh. Huh? That, really? Yeah. The, the baby reindeer? Mm hmm. The baby reindeer. Oh, now they're the yeah, baby the baby reindeer. reindeer. You go to the the baby yeah. dinosaurs. Yeah, baby right? dinosaur. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, the little reindeer they gonna do nothing. Skip, you know that. I remember I said it. You said what? I said Dante. That's the steal of the draft. Sidney Moncrief coming back. They got Bob Lanier coming back sometime soon. I love Sidney Moncrief. Yeah, Terry Cummins. You remember Terry Cummins? Do I? Oh, okay. Yeah, but I, I don't see them coming back. They 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 are they straight. Mm -hmm. All okay. right, fellas. Uh, up next, Des Bryant. Is any team going to sign him? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll see. But mm -hmm. first, we've got an exclusive trailer for Dwayne The Rock Johnson's new movie, Skyscraper. Now, this tells the story of a man who has to risk his life to save his family from a burning building. Skyscraper is going to be in theaters July 13th. Be sure to watch the World Cup tomorrow as Dwayne The Rock helps us set the scene for the day. Check it out. Let me ask you a couple of questions. 